my dear brothers and sisters, for the past days, we have been hearing the story of the rivalry between King Saul and David. Mayroong inggitan na nangyari kay Haring Saulo at kay David. And today, we learn about how they were able to resolve their rivalry. They were able to resolve this by being able to admit to themselves that they were wrong. And they were able to change their mind. In our first reading today, we see how David at first was thinking of hurting King Saul who was pursuing him. But then, he changed his mind and he was able to admit to himself, I was wrong. I should not have thought of hurting the anointed king of Israel. And later on, when Saul saw David sparing his life, Saul also was able to tell David, I was wrong and you were right. I should not have pursued you to kill you and harm you. My dear brothers and sisters, most of the time, healing, reconciliation, peace, and justice will be attained if we only know how to be humble enough to say, I was wrong and you were right. My dear brothers and sisters, the first reading today teaches us that it is okay to change your mind. It is okay to say, I was wrong, you were right. If we can only say this and be humble enough to change, then there could be peace, there could be healing, there could be harmony and reconciliation. My dear brothers and sisters, it is okay to change our mind and admit to ourselves, I was wrong and I need to change. That is discipleship. In our gospel reading today, Jesus chooses 12 disciples or apostles. And Jesus teaches us in His choice that discipleship following Jesus is not about being perfect and without sin. Discipleship is being open to be changed by Jesus. We can see in the list of the 12 apostles, Simon Peter, who betrayed Jesus, but later on changed his mind. We saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were the ambitious disciples who wanted to sit on the right and the left of Jesus but later on offered their life for the Lord. We saw Matthew, the public sinner, the tax collector, who later left his sinful life and followed Jesus. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, it is okay to change your mind. It is okay to say to Jesus, I was wrong and you are right. You know, the only one apostle who did not change his mind? Judas Iscariot, the traitor. He was so proud to admit to himself that he was wrong. He did not change his heart. 
my dear brothers and sisters, today we ask the intercession of St. Agnes of Rome, a very young girl who offered his life for Jesus. She refused to give up her purity. She refused to give up her faith even at a young age. And therefore, the powerful Roman soldiers killed her for her faith. And later on, many people were converted because of her example and said to themselves, we were wrong. It is not the Roman soldiers who were powerful. It is the faithfulness of Agnes who will inspire us to conversion and holiness. My dear brothers and sisters, discipleship is openness to be changed by our Lord Jesus. In this celebration of the Eucharist, let us not be afraid to tell Jesus, I was wrong and you were right. Huwag sana tayong matakot magbago. Huwag tayong matakot sabihin kay Jesus, Nagkamali ako at ikaw ang tama, Panginoon. Ang pagsunod sa Kanya ay ang pagiging bukas na baguhin tayo ni Jesus. Amen.